As an administrator for OpenText Core Share, you have the ability to view and edit users' status. Under your admin settings, navigate to Users to view your user list. Here you can view your active users, pending users, locked users, disabled users, and SSO users. Let's walk through what it means to lock or disable a user. To lock a user, select Action. Select Lock from your menu options at the top and then Yes to confirm the action. By choosing to lock a user, all of the user's shares and links to files sent to other users will remain intact. You are simply temporarily locking this user out of CoreShare, for example, if you noticed suspicious activity in the user's account. To disable a user, select the Action button, select Disable from your options at the top, and then select Yes to confirm the action. By choosing to disable a user, all shares and links to files that the user has created will be permanently revoked, and any shares or links would need to be recreated if you decide to restore the user's access at a later date. Additionally, for a period of 90 days, any files that your disabled user has will go against your core share storage quota limit. If that is a concern, you will have to assign those files, manually address them, or permanently delete the user. Going back to the user status menu, you can confirm any changes to user status that you made. Under Actions, you have the option to lock, assign a delegate, restore, or permanently delete the user.